What's to you too fam? It's your girl TK and I am at home vlogging darling and I don't know if y'all realize it but it always feels so good to be in the house honey where I'm just sitting down in some AC and just relaxing. Oh I love days like this. Anyhow today in this video we're gonna be talking Meghan Markle as well as Prince Harry honey. We're gonna be talking the dirty Diana and singing and dancing all in the rain. Ooh to the left. Oh yes. I don't know if y'all realize it but it's always refreshing to see um, royalty, especially. Royalty hanging out with Miss Beyonce and Hose Carter. And I want you guys to know that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are not strangers to Miss Beyonce Knowles, okay? Miss Beyonce Knowles Carter. Let me get that right. She's a quarter. <laughs> and um, just to see that they have really embraced Beyonce, that's a major deal. I'm talking about like celebrities like Tyler Perry. I don't know if y'all realize it, but Tyler Perry is a major name in the um like directing industry and he's embracing beyonce then we have royalty you know the prince harry and the Meghan markle embracing you know miss beyonce although i have to say there's been a couple articles where they were talking about you know prince harry was out there at this concert and he was looking a little lame like he wasn't really trying to dance to miss beyonce said you are the one that i love well, y'all know I can't fucking sing. Let me try not. You know what? It felt like I was just screaming just now. If I hurt your ears just now, friend, oh, my bad. But I'm not that type of nose any motherfucking ways. Y'all know I can't sing. Like, stop playing. I can't even try. So let me get back to what I know what I can do. And that's talk some shit. <laughs> Noted, guys, I want y'all to let me know what is y'all thinking about Miss uh, Meghan Markle, okay, as well as uh, Prince Harry showing up for Miss Beyonce. I think, um, oh gosh, I think even the president or the vice president, vice president actually went to Kamala. I think even Kamala Harris was at the fucking Renaissance, honey. Yes. A big shout out to Miss Kamala Harris, the first, you know, female vice president. Oh, major. That's a major move right there. We love to see when women run the world, girls. Yes, I love to see it. So, yeah, y'all gonna have to let me know what do you guys think this is giving. Um, were you guys expecting um, Prince Harry to do a lot more moves? And if so, comment in the comment section below because I'm sure y'all saw those articles where they were like, oh, friend. Mm. And we thought, you you know, Prince Harry would have a little bit more fun hanging with the um, the Queen Bee because, you know, that is the Queen. You're supposed to get excited when you in her courtyard. But I don't know. I don't know. This article right here, it's coming from the Independent let me see what it says. Just a tad bit. I want to read a little, just a little something to y'all real quick. It says, um, fans poke fun at Prince Harry appearing miserable at Beyonce's concert. Not a, not a, not a prince being miserable around the queen. <laughs> no, I, 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 I will not believe that. Anyhow, let me read a little bit. It says, celebrities flooded to SoFi Stadium for a night of fun uh, for Miss Beyonce's Renaissance tour in Los Angeles, California. Most of them appear crazy in love for the powerhouse singer, except for the celeb, Prince Harry. Mm. On the September 1st, Beyonce kicked off the Ca California leg of her world tour inside the Inglewood Arena, which included a packed house of A-listers from Kris Jenner to LeBron James. Hollywood stars showed up to watch the Grammy-winning recording artists take the stage, including the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. But while Meghan Markle was seen dancing throughout the night, one moment caught Prince Harry standing stagnant next to his wife. Oh, come on, Prince Harry. You could do the Dirty Diana. Singing and dancing all in the rain. <laughs> Anyhow, um, let's see. It goes on to say, the Duke of Sussex apparent stiff stance for some of the two and a half hour set list resulted in an internet frenzy with fans joking about how miserable he looked. 
Many people took to X, formerly known as Twitter, to point out how Harry looked like every other husband who was forced to go to a concert with their significant other. Now, I do know they they um they were attaching his photo next to a LeBron James photo, and they absolutely did look alike. Like, oh, I'm here, I'm here for you, you know, Queen B, but you ain't gonna see me busting no motherfucking moves. But I'm here, you know. It's one of those situations. Now, it goes on to say that Prince Harry seems relatable here. He looks just like any other boyfriend, husband, who has who was made to go to a Beyonce concert, one user wrote. Another added, while take, while take issues with Prince Harry's comment about press coverage of armed forces and war zones, surely this pick of him and Meghan at Beyonce is just every block dragged along to a concert by the missus. I think that's what they were saying. If you get it, you get it. Now, it goes on. A few fans rushed to Harry's defense, noting that he may have not been into the atmosphere or the music. It's normal for people to not dance at all at concerts, said one defender. But the weirdos are making up stories about Harry and Meghan because of that one picture. Hmm. To be fair to Prince Harry, I like I look bored at Beyonce's concert. Not just my cup of tea, another user confessed. Ooh, she just not the cup of tea. <laughs> you know what? These people are messy, you know. Honestly, when I think about Beyonce's concert, it's just, at this point, it's just been given duplication. Like, sis, hurry up. We need this concert to be over at this point. And honestly, I actually seen um, a couple of her um beehive like a couple of the beehives like you know what sis we glad it's almost over now you can sit on your couch and you can tell us what you do on a day-to-day -day basis something like that they were saying also i want you guys to note you know the only thing that i think that miss beyonce has been giving us via this concert is um that is original is her change of clothes that's the only thing that she has been giving us and if you guys enjoy a change of clothes and nothing that's original, well then the Renaissance World Tour is definitely it. And you will absolutely enjoy paying thousands of dollars to see her because that's exactly what y'all have done. Anyhow, enjoy this video. And if so, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, yeah, I'll holla at y'all later. Bye.